Today I brought a lunch. This tea so bought me is no good. Oh. So right now I'm headed to uh, Green and Ross to take the car in. The hope is to sell it uh, in a couple months when we go to buy the, the Jeep. But we gotta get a couple things fixed. I gotta get the AC fixed. I want to check, get them to check the battery just to make sure the battery's good. If I need to change that, change that. And I need an oil change. But this time, I'm going to try synthetic oil. So, I don't know, maybe I have to spend around, I'm guessing like 800 bucks, but I could be wrong. Also, too, while I'm down there, I'm just going to get some coffees, kill two birds with one stone kind of deal. Um, so, let's go uh, see how much this costs me. Time to eat my delicious lunch. I think that's the garlic bread, the macaroni. Oh, and my car's done. It came to $805. So, $5 over what I would have liked to have spent, but it's not so bad. I really should microwave my food though. Oh, my are so good. I worked today or yesterday thinking it would make today easier. I don't know why it hasn't. Today just felt just as rushed. Like I can't actually dive into anything. No guns are working. God dang today. My favorite thing to do in the day. Holy shit, just got a call from Green and Ross. They're like, yo, we close at five. I was gonna wait till I finished work at 5.30. Fuck, I would have been without a car. Fucking knees just started hurting. <laughs> so. Now I'm just power walking. I think I hear the grocery load. Let's see, let's see. Is it grocery? I can't show you guys my password. Wait, try to break it to my building, son. I was right. Where's my little peg? I was, oh shit, I was right. Hold on. Finally, I get to go home. <laughs> God, I got a mosquito bite literally right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, right there. It's, f oh buddy, it's driving me nuts. I feel like from doing this too, this is just gonna turn into me falling asleep. Most likely, almost 100%. It's fucking, what time is it? It's 11.30. I packed her. Last night I was smart, man. I did all the dishes, cleaned the kitchen. So I have to do that shit this morning. Oof, it feels so much better when you wake up. I don't want to spend too much time out today because once again, last night, didn't do the podcast because I fell asleep. Because I was tired as usual. So I definitely want to do it today. They put these little decals in the uh, elevator, so I got to stand here. I don't even know that that's six feet, but Still cool that they got them. <laughs> I literally just had the most random experience. I was at Tim Hortons. I was in the drive-thru. Nobody's there. I pay for my shit. I get there. They're like, hold on. You're going to have to wait a few minutes for your drinks. I'm like, all right, cool. I just get cozy. The lady comes up. She's like, can you drive around again? I'm like, what? For what? She's like, okay, oh, you just drive around again? So I drive around again and then the, the drinks are, these drinks are on the table and I'm like, did you actually just waste my time for that? But apparently they did. Ma, can you open the door? My uh, hands are kind of trapped here. No, guess not, okay. Oh, there she is. Sorry, thank you. I'm not interested in what they're talking about. City truck is so loud. That's a fucking wake up all in the morning. So oftentimes when me and my mom meet up, we kind of 
kind of talk about you know the videos and how they're doing and some ideas but like conversation about you know the videos and why she asked me why I think they, they haven't picked up I honestly don't know I really don't know maybe people don't want to support it maybe they're just genuinely not good I'm not that negative I think they're they're pretty good for having no background in in film video storytelling anything of that nature I think the quality of the videos are good but I just not everybody gravitates to everybody does that mean I should stop I don't know I guess it depends on who you ask I'm not going to though because I make them for myself I know for the most part my mom enjoys them so you know she gets a, a kick out of watching them and I do have some loyal people that watch the videos and have given me good feedback some have given me critical feedback and I've listened so I really don't know what the reason for the lack of traction maybe just some people it takes other you know takes them a little bit of a longer time to, to grab an audience and then you have some unicorns that they'll put one or two videos up and they have like 200,000 subscribers right away uh, it's definitely a weird it's a weird platform if you're gonna use to get hung up on statistics analytics uh, just focus on what you're doing and, and what you need to improve on and that's that's all I literally try to do took it out a few minutes ago oh it's still kind of hot but it looks so good and that's a good four nice fat slices and then I'm snacking on some fries in the meantime give you guys an update the car did get fixed but the AC cannot be fixed it's got to be reprogrammed and it has to be reprogrammed because apparently if you turn it off it goes on and if you turn it on it goes off or at least that's how the guy explained it to me I'm not even sure how the fuck that makes any sense so now take it back to Honda Hyundai and you see if they could fix it but me and just just both decided if it's gonna cost us like 800 to a thousand bucks to fix the AC we're just not gonna fix it we're just gonna we've been without it for like a year and a half so we're just gonna deal with it and wait till we get a new car it just doesn't make any sense to spend two thousand dollars to fix the car when we're gonna get a new one all right guys that's it hopefully you guys enjoyed the video make sure you like subscribe and share and I'll see you guys when I see you guys peace